Like, um, recently I matched with a doctor on a dating app and I was just like, you know, I said, you know, what do you do? He's like, I'm a doctor. And he was just like, I was like, okay, so what's your goals? He, and he was just like, oh no, I kind of blocked you because like, what do you mean was, what's my goals? Is a doctor not enough? I don't want somebody who's content with where they are. A doctor is being, being a doctor is amazing. I understand what you guys go through to get there, but why can't you want more? You know, before I get started, let, let me say this. Let me say this. You know, I think I think you sisters need to understand that a lot of us, we love black women. We want to be with black women. A lot of us are with black women. A lot of us have black children. But there is this, this I don't even know if you want to call it the, the illusion that's out here that we have to understand. And y'all got to understand we have to have these kind of conversations so we can finally get back together somehow, right? So Kendra G, you know, salute to her. I can't be mad at her. Get your money, you know. But she recently did an interview with the this young lady on the right and the picture as you can see and as y'all heard in the audio the young lady says basically she blocked the doctor because he wasn't ambitious enough she blocked the doctor a doctor and you know the crazy thing is this man and went to school for more than likely oh, what, over a decade right you went to school you had to make sure you had your grades up you you had long stressful nights you know you probably was praying some nights you probably didn't know how you was gonna make it through the school's expensive and you finally become a doctor which is the equivalent of like you know for uh people who don't really follow these type of careers you're basically uh an nba player nfl player in your profession like you're you're a doctor it gets no higher than that how was that not ambitious enough what do, what do you mean so well, i mean what else do you do you want this man to have he's a doctor and then at the same time when the man says okay whatever i'm finna go get with you know with becky then it's a problem y'all have a problem with that and it's it's and if y'all and i'm gonna put the link to the uh the interview below but it's like the black man is starting to feel like man damn i can't do nothing right i can't do nothing right you know uh the genetics are against us a lot of times our women don't want us a lot of times until a certain unless it's a pookie or a ray ray until a certain time and then when we finally get to the position and a financial means to support a queen they don't want us or when they do want us it'd be too late but this i blame a lot of this on programming we are the only group of people that don't promote stuff like this see in other cultures right if they see a person that's a doctor they're highly coveted what what you mean by ambitious enough they're doctors they don't need to be no more ambitious than that they too busy doing surgeries and checking on people's health and so on and so forth when you go to china you, you don't think doctors are coveted when you go to africa you don't think doctors are coveted when you go to to Europe, you don't think doctors are coveted? You go to South America, you don't think doctors are coveted? But with us, with us, it always has to be something more. And and I blame a lot of this, like I said, on the media. I blame a lot of this on on our childhood. You know, a lot of uh, a lot of our parents. You know, especially um, you know, our women. And it, you know, oh, oh, you don't need no man, and oh, a man gotta have this, a man got. We have this warp mentality. I just had a, a discussion with somebody a couple of days ago, and she tried to say how a lot of sisters, you know, oh well. A lot of y'all, a lot of our grandmas didn't have to work, didn't have to Well, that's not true. You know, in the data, the, the data says that, you know, and around, around 1900, what, 18% of women worked. In 1920, it was around 20, 1930, 22, 1940, 25, 1950, 1960s where a lot of your grandparents was born, 29%, or uh, 1950, 29%. By 1960, it went to 33%, so on and so forth, right? By the 1970s, 43% of people was working. You got to ask, okay, well, historically, right, the women who didn't work, people wasn't living wealthy like that. A lot of y'all grandparents ate together in a one-bedroom house, sharing a bathroom. My father was born in the 1940s. They lived in an outhouse. Did my grandma have to necessarily work? No, but they didn't have this luxury lifestyle. If you want a $400,000 house and four and five kids, you're going to have to work. <laughs> you're going to have to work. Yes. Are there some people out there that can afford that? It, yeah, but it's 1%. But it's just, it's just sad. It's just sad. It's sad. We don't really under, we don't really understand each other. We don't understand our history. A lot of stuff is just, it's just told from broken people, broken homes. And it's just sad that this sister has this mentality. Now, listen like who you want to like love who you want to love whatever you know what i mean but you got to understand competition is fierce out here and a lot of sisters don't understand that because growing up the ball was in your court it was you know i remember growing up you like a girl four or five four or five other brothers like her you got to chase her down and you know 
not literally, but you know, you gotta uh, be an athlete, you gotta be something. But now, the older you get, the more numbers are in the brothers' favors. And fine, right? Y'all may say it's fair. Well, it wasn't fair when we had to do it. And that's fine. You know what I mean? Like a lot of a lot of sisters can still be can be with somebody, but you have to understand how life really works. The, n mo most things isn't higher than the doc when it comes to the workforce, you know. So brothers out there, man, you know, brothers and sisters, man, if y'all got kids. Y'all need to preach stuff like this to them, and it's okay to marry doctors and lawyers and even, hell, janitors. We should be happy about just being together, you know? We never really had a lot of money, and you don't need a lot of money to be happy. <laughs> a lot of people who got all these... Listen, I know a lot of people who got a whole bunch of stuff and miserable. A whole lot more stuff than me and miserable. So, you know, y'all got to take that in mind. Would you rather live in a, in, a, in a big old house by yourself or be in an average house and be, you know, have a partner for life? But, you know, that's just my quick thoughts about it again, you know... Uh, it's is is <laughs> and i feel like gilbert arenas went in i feel like i seen a i seen a thumbnail with him in it but i'm gonna have to check it out but you know it's just it's sad that this sister think this way but you know whatever but i just want to get my quick opinions about it you know for the for the ladies do y'all do y'all agree disagree for the fellas what y'all think let me know below